So, we are in uh, the beautiful garden of the Monday School Garden. And so, I know I, I would like to have kids out here, but however, these plants are not going to wait. So, <laughs> we're going to put them in the ground. Um, so, first of all, we're going to work with our tomato plant. This is an heirloom, as I've discussed in before. Heirlooms are non-GMO, non-genetically -gen modified, bag, ar bag ag ra, nothing like that. So, however, this little plant right here, when it does start producing tomatoes, you can take the seeds from the tomatoes and replant them, and you will get more tomatoes. On a GMO, you can't do that. So this is what's called a Cherokee purple. So we will have purple tomatoes. Yay. And I, you know, just like my hair, you know, yeah. like me, I like, you know, purple's my favorite color, so perfect. So we are gonna get this starting this going. I have uh, Terry Riley right here helping me because uh, this is gonna be a big project. So I hope you enjoy. There will be other plants that we're gonna put in. I think we're gonna put some celery in and some sunflowers and some dill. So enjoy. Okay. First thing we gotta do. That's fine. They can hear me. Do that. I'm gonna have to dig this up, fill it over a little bit. I'm gonna irrigate the soil. As you noticed, uh, back in last in March, um, we had turned over the um, we turned over the garden. However, it has settled since then. It's only been a month, but look at this beautiful black soil from just the all the enrichments that we have had in it. So black dirt, mark it all. <laughs> so all we're doing here is just turning the soil over to irrigate it, get some air and oxygen into it. So we're going to use a tomato cage once we get the tomato in the ground. Uh, actually has a scathingly brilliant idea to help train the tomato plant to grow. So we're, pop all over the place. So we're going to drive this in the ground before we ever put the tomato plant in there. tomato up this is just the way I came up with um, we only have one tomato and we have a very small garden so it's and it's it's not probable to do this big structure so we're gonna go as small and as simple as we can um, we're just using typical things that we have in our yard yeah. like you don't have to go and buy out something we had the cages because we actually have a community garden and we're just using one of those and a pole that we just found in the yard. I mean, it doesn't have to be expensive. If you can, if you can use it, use it. All right. One of the secrets to a tomato plant, when you put it in the ground, is we're gonna take off all the lower leaves. Pinch the lower leaves off. Because as the tomato grows, there's little hairs. As, you, know, you can't hardly see them here. Those little hairs on the stem will eventually turn into roots. So you want to plant your tomato plant deep that you can get it. So if you pinch the lower leaves off, then you get might even go ahead and take that one off too like so so when you put it in the ground we're going to go a little bit deeper than that a little deeper yet planting it down because 
with the little fine hairs will turn into roots. It keeps the tomato plant more structured, so it's not going to fall over as it gets bigger. The roots are going to keep it more secure. So this is why we plant deeper than what it shows in the pot. Got to press it in good. Bring some of this other soil back. We want to create a little dish around this so when it rains, the water will run in through the roots. And as the plant grows, she's going to start twirling it around this. And then as we want to put the cage in there, she'll explain what else she's got. Scathingly brilliant ideas with this tomato plant. So we are going to put our little thing in there so we know what we what we have and what this is and, uh, you might want to mark what your plants are because as they get bigger until they start producing you ain't gonna know what they are This was my plan. Okay. There you go. We won't slide. So we're going to go one from one end to the other. We're wrapping around this. Let's just make it more secure. Sorry if you don't see our heads. Yeah. I'd rather y'all see this. You can use like poles and stuff to create the same effect, but we have wire, we have a tomato cage, so why not? I mean, you could still do the same effect with poles. Um, just putting two different putting sticks in the ground and having something come across it. It's just whatever you find to create this. This is to keep the tomato upright so it doesn't fall over or um, so it doesn't become a big bush that's down to the ground. It's so when you lift it, the tomato plant and the tomatoes have more air and sunlight that they have. So.
think it had a trap. In between the poles. As the tomato plant gets bigger, it will be wrapped around the string. And then when it gets how cold? Uh, we are going to stop at well, as tall as the tomato cage. So it's probably about it's about four foot. So four foot tall. Four foot above it. Maybe a little about five foot. We're gonna cut the top off. Um, of the tomato plant. Of the tomato plant. That is because what happens is when you cut the top off it stops growing and it starts focusing more on the tomatoes and making them bigger and redder and more beautiful and more tastier so this is what we are going to do and that's what they're made of plant you see to me think big luscious purple heirloom tomatoes <laughs> So next is what we're going to do is we are going to put our celery in. So this is our celery. We're not going to do all these. Um, some of these are going to go into the main community garden. Um, so I think I am doing 10, I believe. I'm going to put 10 in the Monday school room and then Monday school room. <laughs> not the room, the garden. <laughs> um, and the others are going to go into the actual community garden, which is across the street. Our celery are going to go right here. However, I would like to get that big, big one out of there. Now there is a plant in our way. We're not going to destroy it. We are going to re it because it is right smack down. Oh, that's a bulb. Yeah. And it is gone. Yeah. It'll go over in the flower garden. Yeah, it's going to go in the flower garden. That's going to be cool. Well, I don't know how far this bulb is. gonna stay um it's probably some flower of sorts part of the movement
the deal here, somewhere in there? Yes. Okay. You know, I got one deal over here, but we want to keep it. Back. Actually, there's probably more deal. Yeah. I think that, that plant can be separated. Right. So we're just turning it over like we were doing the tomato plant. Irrigating it. Grease this gardening. Yep. <laughs> yes, I am barefooted. Because <laughs> there ain't nothing better than filling the sand or the dirt between your toes. We are wicked. Now we're going to put our celery in the ground. Okay. There you want to plant. All right. So, mm, I need my dog off. You need what? Put some grass. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so it's just very simple. We are going to, they that, that need to be 12 inches apart, so we're going to do one here. Usually about 8 inches apart. With the hands of a kiss. Yeah. all them little roots. They were about time for them to move on, so lucky they're going in the ground. And so we're going to plant.
Yeah, we're only gonna do ten. I'll just do nine. This is our dill, and they're going to be planted over there. Uh, there's actually several in there, so we're going to see if we can break them apart. We have more dill, they're just bait.
that tease them apart. As long as you got some roots on it. Start these over here close to where we got a walkway. five or six days and then we think and hope that the last frost is gone it's usually around the first uh, middle of April to let the temperatures not dropping below 50 or 45 at night now so we figure it's safe to put them out and if you're wondering what uh, planting uh, zone we are in we're in 7b yep okay now Okay, now over here on the other side of the Macintosh apple tree, uh, she's got some uh, sunflowers. Sunflowers! That she started. We're gonna put them up against the fence over here so we can tie them off as they grow. And one of them might not make it. Uh, this is a young Macintosh tree. It's just now blooming out, so it won't shade out the sunflowers and stuff this year. So we'll put them over here along the fence. How many do you got? I have. Uh, five. Five. Okay. The 
because this one is this one didn't quite make it. Okay. So you want to readjust the camera? Yep. Don't say anything. I'll move it. Where are we putting them? Okay. As long as hope no one wants this, because they will. S there we go. Yeah. There we go. Look at that size. These are the sunflowers that she started few weeks ago in house uh, March in March now you can since these are biodegradable pots you can hand peel a little bit of it away and it will biodegrade I kind of like to pull some of the pot away just to give the, the roots a better chance to break out it actually has been a month as of uh, yesterday yeah. you can see that we actually put these uh, plants sunflowers in the not at the ninth of March um, actually there is a video where we are germinating the seeds so if you want to go check that out you can and not March 9th. <laughs> we could try to make this one, but I don't know if it'll make it. Well, I should put them about hands width apart. Give them room to grow. That's the name of that tune, Sunflowers Planted. So if you like what we're doing here at Southern Duff Church of Wicca, uh, working with the children in the Moon Day School, uh, educating them, they help plant, uh, start these seeds and stuff. And we're gonna be working with them all summer out here growing stuff, teaching them about nature, teaching them about how to grow their own food, teaching them about heirloom seeds. So if you like what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button up there. and. We'll have updates. You hit that little dingy lingy thing for notifications. Every time we put out a new video, working with the children and stuff, you get a notification for it. Hit that like button. Uh, if you got some comments and stuff you want to make to Ashley, she's our youth minister running the Moonday School and stuff. So comments, we'll try to she'll get back with you as soon as you can. So till next time, this is Southern Delta Church of Wicca working in the Moonday School garden. Blessed be. Bye.